Yeah, yeah well, my, my name is Stuart Campbell. I'm the general manager here at Malmaison Hotel in Edinburgh. And this, this Malmaison has been running now for how long? Uh, we will be open now 20 years this coming August. Gosh, gosh, gosh. And I believe this was the original Malmaison, the first Yeah, of... correct, yeah. So we, we were the very first um, opened by Ken McCulloch back in uh, 1994. Um, and of course now we've expanded all across the UK um, with our most recent one being Dundee just earlier in the year. So we're now 13 Malmaisons um, and we have uh, the equal number of hotel vans. So I think we're 28 hotels uh, across both brands. And when, when, when Malmaison started off and it was quite revolutionary, can you explain how I mean, Malmaison was set the tone for a new wave of very fashionable, very sleek, almost boutique hotels? What was the, is, it, is, it, is, that, is that how you saw the brand or what's the... Yeah, completely. I mean, Malmaison were very much ahead of their time. I think when, when they opened 20 years ago, it was like nothing else uh, that was ever around in any hotel. And I think um, a lot of hotel companies now are were mimicking Malmaison over the last, you know, sort of 10 years, certainly. You know, and there are some great competitors now. But Malmaison is evolving as well. And, you know, we're constantly rebranding and, and keeping up to date with the look of the hotels. I think we opened, uh, certainly down here in Leith, 20 years ago. Uh, you were a pioneer, shall we say, because there wasn't much in the way of a... Uh, uh, there certainly wasn't a food scene down here 20 years ago. And then you, you've been here, I think, 10 years? Correct, yes. And that, so can you tell us a little bit how you think things have evolved down Leith, or what Leith has become in that time? Yeah, I mean, it is pretty much the place to go and eat on an evening. Uh, it's a real hub, you know, as you know, we've got some great restaurants in the area, including our own, but, you know, the, the Mission Star guys, you know, five minute walk in any direction and, and you're there. So, you know, anybody that you, that wants to come to Leith on a weekend has to book in advance. You literally can't get a table on the shore on a Saturday night unless you book, which is fantastic. You know, yeah. I and mean, I think uh, uh, opening a hotel in the area was obviously fantastic for the, you know, for the area too. And we bring you know up to 200 guests every night down to Leith, you know, so yeah. they all have to eat. You know, and you know everybody will want to eat in our restaurant, especially staying for a few nights. Yeah. You know, so it's great. You know, there's a lot of sort of smaller places and independent restaurants that, that, that feed very much off. The hotel's business as well, so, and, and vice versa. So. Of course. And can you tell us a bit about the style of the brasserie? I mean, what, 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 how would you describe the food? Um, well, it's, it's, it's got a really varied menu. Um, it's, uh, the original sort of idea was it had a bit of a French influence, um, but it's very much a sort of British classic. Simple things done very well. And it's got a very French feel about it, and obviously you've got the uh, you've got the different uh, 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 wine wine boxes around. You've got the pictures of the French uh, the French waiters. As it's, it's very much a sort of classic, almost Parisian bistro feel in here. Today. Yeah, I think that was the. I mean, that's, that was the idea from 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 day one. I think just to have that kind of French influence. The name Malmaison, of course, has got that Frenchness about it. Of course. Are you still doing the big uh, big brunch? I think at the weekends. Is that yes, indeed. Yeah, every Sunday it's, uh, it's a phenomenal success. And, uh, d one thing about Leith was they never had too much of a Sunday uh, trade, uh, so we thought we changed that. Um, so we have an offer now where. Uh, for 19.95, you can come in and you have basically unlimited amount of food. Starting off with the chef's table, which is a, a table that we do along the back of the brasserie. Uh, it's manned by a chef, and he'll make in front of you fresh waffles and fresh pancakes, omelets, a bit of theatre there, you know. So it's really good. And then you've got a big selection of you know different types of meats and fresh fish, cheeses, salads, and that's just your starter. Uh, once you've had enough of that, we'll clear your plates, and then you can have your main course, or you can have a full. You know, sort of traditional roast dinner or, or various other options there, plus dessert, plus we have a fantastic um, Bloody Mary menu, so there's six or seven different types of Bloody Mary, so it's a real long sitting, you'll come in at 12 o'clock, you'll still be here at half past two. Gosh, gosh. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, people come in and roll out uh, several Absolutely, hours yeah. later, <laughs> that's it. and that's it, that's Sunday. So that's Every day. single Sunday from 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about the history of this building, because I think it goes back quite a, quite a while. Um, yeah, built in 1883, so uh, originally as a seaman's mission, so it so, so was, um, I guess, a house of ill repute, I hear. Um, so guys coming off the ships, you know, obviously it was a working dock, yeah. and, uh, and the sailors would come off the ships and they'd want somewhere to stay, somewhere to drink, and, uh, yes. and perhaps be entertained as well. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And then, uh, uh, and then after that it was another hotel, I think, before... Yeah, that's right, the, it became the Angel Hotel, um, prior to being Malmaison, uh, for a number of years. Again, probably not the most prestigious uh, venue in, the, in town. As I say, you take uh, some taxi drivers will tell you stories that they wouldn't even drop people off in this area. So Malmaison took a bit of a gamble, I think, uh, in opening uh, in Leith at the time. It, it really has paid off, and I think it probably was step one in the regeneration of the area. 
Yeah, absolutely. I think it did revitalise it. I, I do remember you opening. I remember it was sort of, a, you know, Leith was very much, it was up and coming, but Leith had been up and coming for quite some time. But I think my amazing uh, sort of uh, 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 actually crystallised that and, uh, you know, helped it become a reality rather yeah, than, uh, good to hear. Rather than <laughs> something else. Yeah. And also you've got a lovely, I mean, presumably, but do you see lots of people coming down for a stroll around the docks these days on these summer evenings? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the footfall is fantastic now. I mean, there's so much going on, mainly, you know, bars and restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, there's, there's obviously we're on the bottom of the water relief, so we do get a lot of footfall. You know, there's a fantastic monument has appeared outside over the last few years as well, which brings a lot of people down to the area.